What's going on YouTube? This is SB3 and today I am going to be reviewing the new patch that just came out with uh, MXGP 2021. Um, they just launched this today, just had it installed today. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction to fix some of the issues that I talked about in the last video. But let's find out. So this is the newest patch. This is from MXGP's website uh, released today, December 21st, 2021. Uh, it's on PS4, PS5, uh, the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, and then on Steam. Um, here are the list of the changes that they've got. They've added Mantova to all online and online online and offline game modes. Uh, it's also playable in career, a new desert map, the track editor, uh, create new unique tracks on this new map and share it worldwide. It's not really anything different. Um, added tear off feature to all game modes. Tired of mud on your goggles, just use the tear off to clean them. So I'll try that out to see if it's in something that's in third person, first person, or exactly how how it's functioning. Um, added players ghosts on time attack game mode. Upload your best ghost on all leaderboards and improve your times by racing against other players ghosts. That's kind of cool. Um, added gameplay camera customization. Thank goodness. Now you can customize all your gameplay camera in order to create the best one for your writing style. Uh, this is something I'd noticed in, uh, before this patch was released that it was a pretty big issue that they didn't really have any options for you to adjust your camera uh, field of view. And it was frustrating because I like having, if I'm writing in third person, I like having the camera kind of close up to the writer and, and the preset camera configurations that they had. I did not like so this is a good step in the um, step in the right direction at least in the camera side uh, added bike info before starting a duel or a challenge in your career mode added brick love with the latest gears as he has used during the MXGP World Championship fixed a bug with an anti-cheat system now you can upload your best times without any problems improve stability minor fixes so um, I will say since I've started playing this game that um, I've gotten more used to it. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination good, um, but it, it's it, it's getting better. Um, whenever I did my first video review, my mine were literally first look, first feel, um, and I I honestly I wasn't super impressed and. Um, now that I've played it for a little while longer, I still think there's some issues that need to be worked out, but it seems like it's it, it's better than what I was initially thinking. Um, I had played the game for probably a to grand total of 15 minutes whenever I did my first review, and now I've got several hours um, in the game, and it's, it, it's better than what I initially thought. Um, I took the time to go through and play it and actually kind of understand some of the, the physics and things like that, and it's better than what I was thinking. Um... Also in this video, just because I learned how to do it, huge shout out to Sturbin um, in Pay 2021's um, mod community. Um, he showed me how to access locked numbers in the MXGP games, the Supercross games. Um, so after I go through and do this bit of a review, I'll also show you guys how to get that because I'm sure you're wondering how I got the number 22 uh, when Kevin Stryboss is still in the game. So here we go. Uh, let's go into the quick mode. Let's do quick modes. We'll do a time attack. Um, so they still have the same tracks as before, but they added Mantova. So let's go ahead and do Mantova since that's the newest track. No new. There's no new MXGP mod from Pay 2021. I haven't looked at other sites to see who all is where, but um, yeah, here we go. So, uh, this is Mantova, MXGP of Lombardia. All right. So, first thing I want to check out is... Minor fixes. Okay, so let's go customize camera, field of view. Awesome. Acceleration effect, dynamic camera. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's not a very good helmet view. <laughs> it's, um, okay. Okay, well, 
I mean, this is better. It, it's at least a step in the right, the right direction, so you can customize your cameras a little bit. Here, let's go through. Goodness gracious. I do not play the MXGP or the mile any of the milestone games in first person that often. Don't really know why, um, but it's always just been something that I've played in third person. MX Sim, um, MX Bikes, MX vs. ATV games, I've always played in first person, but for whatever reason, these milestone games, I've always played them in the third person field of view and I've, I I still don't understand why but I just my body <laughs> is not ready for first person in, in these games <laughs> apparently um, <laughs> but it's a step in the right direction this feels this feels better I like it I'm not very good at it because I don't spend a whole lot of time in it but there we go One thing I really want them to fix is the, some of these ruts or berms are, are kind of, they're difficult to hit. And it makes it kind of a pain in the butt whenever you're trying to, to run a fast lap. Alright, there we go. Got a clean lap apparently. As far as the physics go, it doesn't really feel all that different. It it, it really doesn't. Um, I like having the ghost on here. It allows you to to, to, to get better, which I think is just, it, it, it's a good thing to have. I really like having a ghost to ch kind of chase around on the track. And if you're able to pick a ghost from the leaderboard, that's really going to be helpful, especially if this anti-cheat system that they've got in place is going to help prevent people from you know, cutting corners and cheating to where they're getting unreasonably fast lap times that are just impossible to hit if you're doing things the cur you know the way you're supposed to be doing. Um, and I'm glad to see that they've done that because in past games it, it didn't really seem like Milestone cared. It seemed like they just put the game out to put it out and then they focus on something else. Um, I am curious with the new announcement if you guys follow Supercross Motocross. Um, pretty regularly there's um i don't know exactly what the company is but it's a company i think that ran the australian supercross or they were in conjunction with the australian supercross they're going to be heading up the supercross the fim uh, world supercross championship i'm kind of curious to see what that's like and see how that works but um I i'm kind of curious to see what that's going to do with milestone since they you know, they head up the games with um, MXGP for the FIM, and now with Supercross 5 coming out, how's that going to work? Or I guess it'd be Supercross 6 for next year, since it's going to be a title that's, you know, this is going to be their first game where they're not underneath the FIM. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know how the contract works. So if the contract works where Milestone is getting access to Supercross because it's an FIM, you know, title game or if it's easier for milestone to get these to get the supercross game because it's part of the fim whereas they haven't been able to get lucas oil pro motocross and it's because it's not a part of the fim i i don't know if that's where the the disconnect is coming from i hope not because i like milestone games i like the way that they feel i like the i wish they would get up to the current season but i get it um i'm kind of rambling but that being said, I'm excited to see if maybe we get another Supercross game for the FIM World Supercross Championship. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as this game goes, it's the patch seems to have fixed little things. I'm not noticing really a whole lot of anything in my in my immediate gameplay. 
not noticing any like overhauls in the physics or anything like that. I mean, the game still feels the same, but it does. The the game takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, it's different from GP twenty. It's different from Supercross four, and it's. I was very very critical of this game, and I still am, um, on the aspect of getting gear and all this other stuff that was just kind of cookie cutter cookie cutter swapped over from previous games i just think that's ridiculous and i i think the company needs to be held responsible for that because you know they're charging a full price game for you know small updates to physics and you know the argument could be made that you know madden does the same thing and i would agree um madden MLB The Show, NHL, any of really the yearly sports released games, they tend to, to do these small updates. And it's it's a little frustrating because you go year to year. If you're, a, a, you know, you follow the sport and you want to purchase the game because you want to have the newest, you know, 2021 gear, the newest 2021 whatever. I mean, at least in the yearly updates that MLB, Madden, all these other guys do, they're giving updated, you know, gear as opposed to what was there last year. I mean, if anything didn't, if nothing else changed, it was small tweaks to the physics to, to improve something maybe from, you know, widespread <laughs> negativity on a specific area. And then, you know, they update the, 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 the gear, I say the gear, the uniforms for, you know, the 2021 season or the 2020 season or, or, or whatever it is. Um, and I really wish that we would see more of that from the MXGP and the Milestone games in general because I think these games are good. I think they're kind of a blend between... They're still more arcade than sim, but they're at least a little bit more sim than what um, MX vs. ATV is. So, now that I've gotten some more time in the game, I, I do enjoy playing it. It's still a step backwards for me from GP20. I really like MXGP20. I like MXGP19 too. Um, I think GP20 is probably the best out of the last three games that they've released. And then you'd go back to, I think, MXGP3. Maybe, maybe MXGP Pro. I like MXGP Pro too, but um, I think MXGP was kind of the height of their their series. And I think Supercross 3 is damn near perfect. Um so I think they've got some stuff that they need to work on in order to get these games to where they're 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 fully justified in spending fifty dollars for a new game. If you're buying it on uh, Steam, if you're buying it on Xbox and PlayStation, I want to say it's a sixty dollar purchase. And I, I I did go through and buy this game. If you guys watched my last video, I openly stated that I you know I pirated the game. <laughs> I now own this game on Steam, and I, I put the time in to where. I think I would wait for it to go on sale, but I, and I mean I would wait for it to go on a on a decent sale. Like I wouldn't spend more than probably thirty dollars for this game if I if I were gonna buy it, and if I was gonna advise people to buy it at a price point, I'd say probably thirty dollars. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's really it. Where's this tear off button? Ha! So it doesn't work for third person which makes sense it just kind of gradually goes away okay let's try it ah i hit the corner ah uh, okay ah clean vision that's kind of cool what about right here It doesn't it's so, so it's only in the goggle cam only in the goggle cam you can see the that's kind of cool that may have been in the game before I just never noticed it whenever you pull the tear off you can actually see the the flat like the the tear off flapping away that's kind of cool little detail but it's kind of cool um so that's Manziva. And, I mean, that's really it. I mean, they... I think they said they added this track. I don't know. But... <clears throat> what I'm going to show you guys now is how to... To access a number 
from, you know, if you want to run the number 222 or the number 84 or whatever it is, um, it's the same process as in the money mod. So what you'll do is you're going to open up cheat engine and then you're going to open up. So you'll go right up here where it's flashing green and red. You'll go to MXGP7 or whatever game that this works on any of the games that I've tried, which is Supercross 3, Supercross 4, um, MXGP 2019, MXGP 2020, and then obviously MXGP 2021. Um, so you click on that, and it's going to say load associated table. Uh, I always hit no. And then what you'll do is you go into customization. And then you'll go through and select, you know, I'll do my career preset, I guess. It doesn't really matter, or at least from what I've tried, it doesn't really matter. You'll click writer. You'll go over to data. Data again. And then you'll sit up right here. You'll go down to whatever number you have. And then you'll select a number. So the way that I do this, and it may not need to be done this way, but um, you'll go through and let's say, let's pick number 35. From there, you're going to select number 35 or whatever number you choose to pick. Go back to um, oops, here, and then you're going to type in the number 35. And first scan. It's going to bring up a bunch of different numbers. You're going to go back into the game, and you're going to select a different number. So just to keep it easy, let's do 33. You'll Alt-Tab and bring up Cheat Engine again. And then you're going to type in the new number, which is 33. And then you're going to hit next scan. Okay. Usually it works after three times. If it doesn't work, go back into the game, select a different number. Let's do 23. Make sure it's selected. Go back. 23. Next scan. And you're down to one value and one what is this property value so you'll double click it then it's going to come up down here so you double click this once you get it down to one you double click this and it's going to bring up this address right down here um, these things don't matter to my knowledge but you're going to go over here where it says value you're going to hit the number 23 you're going to click it twice so just again, you're going to go through if once it gets down to one, you'll double click this. This is going to populate down here. And then you go over here to the number 23. Double click. And you put in whatever number it is you want it to be. So let's do the number three. You hit enter. That value should pop up as number three now. And then what you'll do is you'll back out and you're done. And then it's got it selected on there. Now, if you go through and you select another number, let's say you select number nine, you can't go back and select the number three again. You have to go through and do this anytime you change that number. So if you change it away from the number three, I can't go back and select this. I can't. There, I'm pressing A as rapidly as I can, and there's nothing that you can do. Same thing with the number four. I mean, so you can... It's... It's a little cumbersome if you want to go through and change your number pretty repeatedly. But if you're like, I'm the number three, then you go through again. I'll go through and do it again. So I've got the number six. Oops. Pull up Cheat Engine. And I'm going to do a new scan. Number six. Let's do the first scan. Back into the game. Number eight. Cheat engine, number eight, back in, number nine, back in again, number nine, bam, oh, we're getting there, okay, number 13. So sometimes it's it's a little cumbersome. I don't know why it changes from three or four times or however many times it takes you to get there. Just keep doing it until you get it down, get all these numbers just down to one. So then you'll once again, you'll do number 13, which is the number I picked. And then you're down to one value. So you pick it. You'll double click. 
number three. And then you go back and bam. And then once you go through and you select your name and number, it's there. It's it's an actual number. If you go to your bike, your bike's going to show whatever number that you put in there. So this one, in this case, is the number three. And it's right there. Easy. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Um, I wanted to go through and show off the new... Um, the new patch that came out physics wise there's not a huge huge difference huge overhaul in anything in the physics wise if you've played mxgp 2021 and you know what those physics are like they're not really any different um i i, I will say once i've started playing this and once i've gone through and actually put some time into the game the game does feel better than what i initially thought um which i was a little bit worried about but it's it, it's it's not perfect but it's it's at least and I, and I hate saying this because I, I don't want to seem like the, the the fanboy of the series but I, I love motocross I love supercross and I want to support the industry however I can and you know in my area where I live buying a motocross bike doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense because I don't have a track nearby um, and it's it's you know I drive a car so in a way this is my way of kind of of trying to help the the moto industry in in the way that I can and I want to go through I want to support the you know the people that are making this game because honestly they 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 don't have to they have ride they have um I think they they made a Hot Wheels game this year too so I I just want to see Milestone continuously getting better I want to see them doing things with these games that we want to see and, you know, in years previous, you know, previous years, they would actually listen to what we were trying to say, which I always commended Milestone for that. And it seems like this year going from MXGP 2020 to MXGP 2021, there wasn't as big of a difference in in what you see from the, the previous game to the new game. This one really felt cookie cutter cut like like it was cookie cutter and they they made maybe a couple of improvements and, you know, they have. Showa is a huge um, bike man, or not a manufacturer, but they're, you know, as far as the components go, if you look at, you know, me being an AMA Supercross fan, Showa is the suspension that they use for for Honda, and it's not there, or at least it wasn't. Make a liar out of me. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, it's not it's not here. Just seeing some of the regression that they've had in in some of their components it's really lackluster and you know wp rate you know what is it mx tech pro action pro circuit olin's mx tech factory connection and then the stock you, you know you you want to see we've seen milestone where they've had a plethora of components that you can choose from a plethora of gear options that you have and and this just doesn't have it and you know, I mean, they're putting their money in, you know, they've got Dunlop, Pirelli. I mean, truthfully, if it were me, they've got to put their focus back in suspension. I don't give two shits about this. I mean, it's nice. It's cool to have. But we don't need six different brands that, that do the same thing. I mean... I don't per and maybe that's just me. Maybe I I would rather I would rather see suspension over over wheel sets. That's just me. I'm okay with just having Alp, you know, DID or who is this Alpine? Alpina. Same thing with the brake discs and the, uh, the exhaust is pitiful. And and I mean again, this is something that I'm not as concerned about because you know as long as they've got the major brands like Yoshimura, FMF, Pro Circuit, then I don't really have a whole lot to complain about. But having one MMF, whoa, having one FMF exhaust pipe, it, it it's just a little confusing. But um, I try not to be negative with this, and 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 I really didn't want to be negative with this review of this game because I try to, I I want there to be positivity in these games because you know we could very easily lose 
Milestone could lose the rights to these games if if they have a dip in sales. And I understand their their side of the coin. Whenever they can't, you know, they have to put a game out every year. They have to. They're contractually obligated to put out an MXGP game and a Supercross game every single year. What I personally would have liked to see in that contractual obligation is that they would have pushed back Supercross for March until June or July and used the upcoming 2020, man, I cannot do numbers today, 2022 Supercross season. That Just like what they've done with the MXGP series, they get it, they release it a little before the the you know the end of the season so i mean they could even do it in may april they could have waited a month and they probably could have figured out how to 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 get it caught up to the current season because i think that's a step that they need to go i think they need to take supercross and make it to the current season not that the, not the year previous because that's that's what people want they want to be able to ride the you know they want to be able to see the track you know the people on the on the most current tracks, on the most current bikes, on the most current team. Because every time, every it doesn't matter how many years these games have come out. Every single year I go through and I read comments of games. Why isn't Tomac on, and it's going to happen in Supercross 5. Why isn't Tomac on a star racing Yamaha? This is from the 2020 season. Oh. Now, us on the, the PC side, we're going to be fortunate enough because I'm praying to the, the MX gods that uh, Pay 2021 will do a 2022 mod where he'll put, you know, Aaron Plessinger on Red Bull KTM. They'll have the new updated KTM, you know, the 2022 um, graphics kits where they've got the orange sheets, which I think are hideous, but that's just me. Um, they'll have, you know, Tomac to Star Racing. Um, Dylan Ferrandis is obviously going to be on there, but they'll put him in the new, you know, Pay will put him in the new gear. Same with Sexton, same with Cincerulo. They'll have Jason Anderson on the Cowie. Um, was that? Those were the three big moves. I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, Stewart on a Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. And with these big moves, it, it's going to be easier for Pay to, you know, he can put Mookie on Zacco's bike. Or he can put Mookie on Jason Anderson's bike. Jason Anderson can go on Eli Tomac's bike. Um, Plessinger, oh God, I don't know where they're going to put him. But, you know, they can put Tomac on Plessinger's bike. There's ways for them to get that Pay can do this, to get this to to be as close as we can get it to the 2022 season. Um, but there's some things that Milestone needs to do on their side to make the game a little bit better to where they can justify that 50 or $60 price point. Um, and that's, that's, where, that's where I'm at with it. I enjoy this game. I don't think it's worth $50. Um... I think they, they need some more updates to get this game to where it needs to be. And I, I'd say the game, it's fun, but wait for a sale. Um, if once if there's another mod that comes out with Pay 2021, or if I see a mod that I think is worthwhile um, on YouTube, whether it be Leone291 or um, whoever else is doing mods for these games, I, I it seems to be a dying <laughs> a dying crew to, to a certain extent. But... Um, I'll let you guys know if there's any new mods that I think are worthwhile. I'll make sure to post up a video to kind of walk you through it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. Uh, be on the lookout for a my Supercross Top 10. I'm going to be doing a separate video where I'm going to be predicting the Top 10 in Supercross in both the 450s and uh, 250s. So be on the lookout for that. Um, let me know what you think about MXGP21. Let me know if you think it's a good game, if you think it's an improvement, or if you think it's worse. Um, let's have a conversation. Let's let's talk about what you think down below. And yeah, A1's getting closer. So um, I'll be looking to do some more panic rev videos to to kind of keep some analysis going up. If I think I can get away with it, I'll, I'll definitely be trying to post live streams of the of the actual races. Um, but yeah, that, that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.